the Cooper sisters, aka the Cooper Hoopers, only had hearing aids during school and had to give them back to the school at the end of the day. We were able to give hearing aids to them. I used to be so upset like that I was finna cry, you know, every time I used to take out my hearing aids because, you know, I like to hear everything and having to turn it in after school every day, that was, man, heartbreaking for me. And they make you leave class early, early to interrupt just, your classwork. Mm -hmm. Like, that was, like, m like, making me not get the full work done. Like, it can make a big difference. Right. Yeah. When I first put these on, I was so happy. Like, man, <laughs> I was like, yes. I said, thank you, Lord. This is a blessing. What? I really appreciate you. <laughs> what those devices do for Brayden is give him connection and allow him to go out and do the things that he's doing. When you guys put those hearing aids on, was it like a whole new world? Because for me, it was. Yeah. All the amazing people in the hearing impaired community finally feel validated and finally feel good. And isn't that the point of everything? <laughs> to know that one person has lived just a little bit better because you've existed. Being able to dedicate your time to people who really need it, it just feels like you've really done your part in the hearing world. I hope that I can get every person hearing aids that can't afford them. And that might take a really long time, but I'm gonna try my best.